You know, when I was little, I did a lot of drawing and painting and making craft projects. But what I remember most in elementary school are field trips to this living history museum. And this whole sensory experiential learning um, is really what I, what I see as a through line to my work now. Now I make installations in public spaces um, and I'm most interested in making tactile and visceral spaces that, that audiences can walk through and have an experience. I made a body of work about the relationship of um, spiritual labor to physical labor. For eight hours, I did a performance of ironing these family linens in this former laundry room of a religious house. I'm kind of, I'm curious about how, how labor and domestic work is often unrecorded and done in silence and is a part of history that, that is not documented. And so this was an attempt to document, um, to document that. You know, I came in here um, as a curator in a religion and art program, and I thought I was making art about religion. But over time, it's become clear to me that I'm using religious ideas, but actually the work I'm most interested in is probably better described as the spiritual in art. And I'm most interested in contemplative practices and rituals. So in the religious fields, that looks like meditation or prayer or yoga or dancing body practices that are also spiritual practices, but, but in the secular world that looks like mindfulness or acts of attention. I think in the art world, a lot of people are not comfortable with religious topics. But when I changed my language from religion to the spiritual in art, and when I changed the way that I was thinking about, instead of representing images, but actually enacting practices and using my body and using performance to talk about experience, then it became clear that's really what I'm interested in. And that to me, captures the spiritual in art and this contemplative practice and they come together at that moment.